who Lord open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever Amen Alleluia Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people the flocky shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they'd seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are people whose hearts go stray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. O splendor of God's glory bright, the light begotten of his light. O light, the fountain spring of light, O day with light dispelling night. Come, very Son of heavenly love, Come in your radiance from above And shed the Holy Spirit's ray On every thought and sense today So we the Father's help will claim And sing the Father's glorious name and this almighty grace implore that we may stand to fall no more. So let us gladly pass the day, our thoughts as pure as morning ray. Our faith is noontide shining bright, our minds undimmed by shades of night. Almighty Father, hear our cry, through Jesus Christ our Lord most high 
whom in the Spirit we adore, who reigns with you forevermore. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me, in the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand the ground before your face. You hate all who do evil, you destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty person the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie and wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief, their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them and you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just ones, Lord. You surround them with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, all justice and all goodness come from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice, so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the Church and in Christ. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father. 
from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hands are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks. We praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. Oh, give the Lord, you children of God, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon, he makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh, the Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders, in his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You live forever, Lord and King. All things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against evil, that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. Adore the Lord in his holy court. From Second Thessalonians Anyone who would not work should not eat. We hear that some of you are unruly, not keeping busy, but acting like busybodies. We enjoin all such, and we urge them strongly in the Lord Jesus Christ to earn the food they eat by working quietly. You must never grow weary of doing what is right, brothers and sisters.
Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. His marvelous works are beyond compare, blessed from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God, We esteem Christ above all, for he was filled with grace and the Holy Spirit. In faith, let us implore him. Give us your spirit, Lord. Grant us a peaceful day. When evening comes, we will praise you with joy and purity of heart. Give us your spirit, Lord. Let your splendor rest upon us today. Direct the work of our hands. Give us your spirit, Lord. May your face shine upon us and keep us in peace. May your strong arm protect us. Give us your spirit, Lord. Look kindly on all who put their trust in our prayers. Fill them with every bodily and spiritual grace. Give us your spirit, Lord. gathering our prayer and praises into one let us offer the prayer christ himself taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your saving help. Let our work always find its origin in you and through you reach completion. 
We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.